Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Big Zell 20 hitting you guys up with a brand new recap, and I'm here to recap Shaz the motherfucking Sunset and get it twisted. Now, I don't know if you guys watched this. Shaz the Sunset is a show in, um, set in, um, on Bravo. I can't even remember the TV show, y'all. Y'all know I'm still tired. I'm still tired. I've been writing all night. Lord. But it was, it's set, um, it's on fucking Bravo TV, and it's set in California, I believe. And it's about Persian and Indian people in fucking, you know, in a reality show about the rich Persian social life scene in America. Um, I have to be honest with you, I don't really care that much for the show, but I do watch it. I will say season two was a lot better than season one. Um, it was, and to me, Shots of Sunset has really been bringing it this season. Um, but here's the thing, I'm going to wait in, because... I only like a few people on that damn show, and I will tell you who it is, and you're going to gag for your fucking life. I only like Gonessa Gigi, I only like Gigi, I only like MJ, and I only like Mike. Those are the only three people I like. Y'all like, oh my god, Big so you don't like Reza? You don't like Asa? You don't like Lily? No, no, and hell no. Um, I don't, I don't care for Asa. Well, no, excuse me. I did. I strongly dislike Asa. I do not care for Reza, and L Lily to me <coughs> is irrelevant. She really is. And I'm just gonna go ahead and wait in. I'm not even gonna wait in on a whole reunion situation. I'm not gonna review both parts of reunion because I feel like I just feel like there's not really that much for them to talk about for there to be two parts. So, in my opinion, it's just. To me, it was about friendships and friendships ending. And I gotta say, Reza, you fucking tried it. You really fucking tried it. That's all I have to say to you right now. Because I'm gonna go back to you for a second. I thought you damn sure tried it. And Lily, girl, please go somewhere. And you and Andy get on my damn nerves. You know he's gonna keep her on for the next season. Oh my god, it's the Persian Barbie. Andy, shut up. How old are you? Stop acting like a child. God, I, I'm sorry, Andy really, to me, that queen, he's starting to get on my nerves. I know a lot of people just adore Andy, and they think he's just so lovable and cute. I think he look, he acts childish, he stirs up drama for on purpose, I understand, for ratings, but Andy just really, I don't, I'm not feeling Andy Cohen, I'm really not. I know y'all love him, I don't like him. So anyway, I just want to say Reza tried it, because I feel like the way he treated MJ this season was horrendous. Now, I know a lot of people who watch the show who were probably on Reza's side because you guys are saying like, oh, MJ did this, MJ did that, the way she acted, the way she did this, blah, blah, blah. Reza's only fault with MJ should have been the fact that when Gigi was talking shit about him, she did not defend him or stick up for him or, you know, tell Gigi to stop. That, what was going on between MJ and Lily had nothing to do with you. The fact that she's hanging out with Gigi... The fact that she's hanging out with Gigi should not have pissed you off. The fact that she doesn't really care for Asa is not none of your concern. It was like, I feel like Reza was being so judgmental against MJ this season. And I thought, bitch, you don't have no right to be judgmental against nobody. Okay? Um, I'm not giving MJ a pass. I feel like the way she treated Lily was inexcusable at first. At first, until we got to know Lily. And then I was like, bitch, I really wouldn't care for her either. But at the same token, I can understand how MJ, where MJ was coming from because MJ is like, this person is trying to come into my circle. I don't really, off the first impression, I don't really care for her. I don't really care for her. I really don't. Whatever. But rather for you to be, and see, Reza, you were so ready to jump on Lily's bandwagon like the motherfucking next queen. You just want Lily to be your little fag hag and your little Persian Barbie, and you were just just ready to toss MJ to the side. Period. You keep bringing up the fact that y'all been friends for over twenty five years, or how many years y'all been friends? You keep bringing that up. Act like it. Act like it. Stop throwing, stop throwing shit in MJ's face. I just feel like the way Reza had been acting this season was so fucking childish. I do not care for him. I didn't really care for him last season because I feel like he was a fad and just a gimmick with that fucking mustache. And I'm like, oh no, girlfriend. You know, with the big mustache. Oh no, girlfriend. You know, but I don't, I don't really care for Reza either because he's, in my opinion, he's a character. But... I feel like the way, he, especially the way he treated MJ this season was, it, it's just fucking horrendous. It was horrendous. It was horrendous. And you already know, my point is this, you already know how MJ is, despite the fact that she, I believe she does have a drinking problem. She might have pill popping problems. 
she might have done all this shit where she, you claim she robbed the bank and did all this shit like that. But in my opinion, for you to have acted the way you acted, you don't act like somebody. The way he acted this reunion and this past season is not. It's like he hasn't been. You the way you're acting is not like you've been you've been her friend for 25 years. That's not how a person who's been friends with friends with someone for 25 years or 20 plus years should act. That is not the way. If I was friends with somebody for 20 plus years and we had a falling out and we're not cool no more, I am not gonna read her for filth every time I see her just because you felt betrayed. You been, and, and newsflash, brother, you did you did equal amounts of shit, if not more, to MJ this whole season. So yes, yeah, she initially pissed you off or did something wrong, but then all the little stunts and shows you was pulling, like boosting up Lily in front of her and then talking shit about her behind her back. You want to talk about how fat and grandissimo she is? So, bitch, have you seen yourself in the mirror lately? Really, you look like a big fat slug with a mustache. That's what you look like, MJ. I mean, um, not MJ. Um, Reza. That's what you like. And for you to exploit her problems like that in a fashion that was mocking and taunting, I feel like was just, to me, MJ should not be your friend anymore. Y'all should not reconcile. I would not reconcile with you. Because you, he even went on to say in an interview at one point that, that she had been had these problems. You know, but now because, and that doesn't make you a real friend either, because now because y'all have had this falling out or she pissed you off, now you, you want to call, bring these problems to the forefront and call her out. But before then, you must not have had a fucking problem with it. Or if you did, you didn't say shit. But now with this big issue, Reza, pay for filth. I do not like you. You are a fucking dirt queen. And like I said, you should, and it's horrible. The way MJ's mom has treated her, I can understand how she may have, may be a basket case at this point. And, but you've been friends with her for, for so long. You know all her issues. You know all her drama. You know all her problems in life. And for you to be acting the way you were acting is and, and be 40 years fucking old, uh, 40 fucking years old, to me is inexcusable. I would never be friends with Reza again if I was MJ. Fuck nostalgia, bitch. You better pop in the old movie and call it a day. Pop in a motherfucking old movie and call it a day. I do not like Reza. I do not like Reza. I know y'all might like him. A lot of people do. I don't care for Reza at all. At all. I see... Because, you know, for me, I see people for who they really are. And I see beyond situations, okay? Let's go through it. MJ talked to Gigi, right? Okay. But Gigi talked shit about you behind your back, Reza. Okay. Didn't you do the same thing to Gigi? You was always reading Gigi for Phil behind her back. Gigi was just a hot mess. She was this. She was that. And then when Gigi talks shit about you, then all of a sudden you have an issue with it. And first and foremost, here's what I always tell my close friends. Just because I don't like somebody does not mean you don't have to associate with them. You make your own decision because you're an individual. I understand loyalty and having somebody's back, which is the reason why MJ, to me, was in the wrong for allowing Gigi to talk about him around her. But at the same time, for you to say, oh, you can't associate with her or you can't be her friend, to me, that's, and, and me and another friend, um, me and another friend of mine was having a big argument back and forth about this. He was claiming that if you were my best friend and there's this other bitch I don't like and you become friends with that person too, then, you know, we're going to have problems because you're not really my best friend. And I said, what you eat, I don't shit. So you're my best friend, yes, and I am loyal to you. I am loyal to you from the fucking bone. But at the same time, just because you don't like her does not mean I don't like her. That's just that's just the fucking point in a nutshell. And I'm and just uh, I'm glad me and my friends don't have that mentality of thinking. Me and my friends are just so evolved in that or more mature because I that whole kid in the sandbox routine should have died out in kindergarten. It should have left fucking kindergarten, at least left your mentality once you graduated high school. Because that shit does not work as an adult. It does not work. So, Reza, you, you played. I don't give a fuck about you. Um, I really don't. I'm, I just feel like you were just so wrong for how you did MJ. And that's just me personally. I just feel like that. Especially when you went through her purse. And you knew that she was popping pills, or you knew that she had a pill problem and all that stuff, and you tried to make it seem like, oh my god, and just held the pills up. You did that shit on purpose. You didn't go across, you did that on purpose. You sabotaged her on purpose. I see you, queen. I see you. You sabotaged her on camera on purpose. 
you knew that shit was in her purse and you gonna smell some arms just gonna go through her purse to look for her ID or something like that. And like Mike said, Mike was calling it like and Mike was calling it like it is. He's like, why the fuck is he going through her purse? Oh, it, I, I just can't stand Reza. I can't. I also can't stand people when we used to be friends, right? And when we we've been friends for so long. I feel like a friendship is also judged if you end the friendship. How you were as a friend to them shows in, in how in how the friendship ended or how you act after the friendship ended. And I'll tell you what I mean. If we were friends and we were tight like glue and we were all this and we had a falling out and let's say we we weren't we're not talking no more. You're not gonna trash me behind my back. You know why? Because we've been friends for that long. And even though we're not friends no more now, you have nothing bad to say about the friendship. Okay? I feel like I feel like MJ had nothing bad to say about Reza and in the friendship. Except for the fact that she feels like he's being two faced now. And she did talk her little junk too, but I feel like the way Reza read her and tried to just call her out for filth and just all everything he did to me just shows what kind of shanky, shanky, shitty friend he really was in that friendship. And that's just what I'm done with it. I know y'all gonna disagree with me because I know a lot of people are on Reza's bandwagon, but I'm not. Uh, another person that's bandwagon I'm not on is um, <clears throat> I um no before I go before I read Asa, I'm gonna read Lily. Lily, bitch, you are irrelevant, and I'm glad Mike got you together. I am glad Mike got you together during the reunion when MJ humbled herself and apologized to you, and that was the apology she humbly apologized. You still going on, but you said this and you said that. Mike is like, okay, she's apologizing. She's apologizing. Just let it go. Let it go, Lily. She's apologizing. She humbled herself. And, and she's like, yes, I'm apologizing. Humbly. I'm really apologetic. Apologetic. And she, I, you know, you can look, you can tell the look on MJ's face. And a lot of people were saying that she was drunk or high. She might have been. But you can tell them the look on her face that she regretted some of the things she said about Lily. Okay? Lily, bitch, you are irrelevant. You are a dizzy fucking bitch who had a lot of plastic surgery. You're not even fully Persian. Not all, all of them aren't that fully Persian. But to me, she's the least amount of Persian of all of them. And I just feel like just because she had a little bit of Persian in her and it shows, that's the reason why she was hired for this show. <clears throat> Quiet is kept. But you're rude as fuck too. And you, the, the things that you said about MJ have been atrocious as well. About her size and about her looks and all that shit. And bitch, you are as fake as they come. Okay? Okay, so that's all I gotta really say about Lily. I'm glad Mike read her ass and told her to shut the fuck up. And when she was shut when she was and when she was checked, she was fucking checked. And I wish somebody was there to really check her. And she came down with them fucking receipts. I will give you that though. She had them receipts though. I will I'll say, okay, Miss Lily, you 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 throwing shade. You throwing motherfucking uh you bringing the attitude. I do like that. But other than that, I really don't care for her. Asa and motherfucking Gigi. Here is the thing, Asa. I don't like you. I don't like people who pretend to be just this big picture of peace, prosperity, and maturity. Like, I don't know if you guys remember it, but Bad Girls Club Season 2, Lyric. I didn't care for Lyric. I liked her at first, but the more I saw her, the more fake she became to me. And that's how I feel about Asa, bitch. You talk the most shit out of anybody there, in my opinion. You really do, in your own way. And, oh, Jesus, don't even let me get on that one comment you made. Don't even let me get on that one fucking comment you made about, I need to go to Harlem to get some African hair wraps. Girl, not even gonna go there. Now you can go there, because that was low-key racist, in my opinion. I feel like it was. I don't know. Some My friends, they tell me I'm too sensitive, Big Zoe. You're too sensitive. But y'all know I don't play the race card. I really don't. I, you know, I be checking my race all the time. But to me, that was low-key racist, in my opinion, when she said that at one episode. But my point is this, Asa. You, to me, in my opinion, you talk a lot of shit about people, including Gomez and Gigi. You talk shit about Mike. You talk shit about MJ. And, you know, you've been a bitch. And you're sitting on the side of somebody, t going back to Reza. I don't know if y'all forgot last season, but Reza used to read Asa for Filth in the commentary and talk shit about her, too. So this is fakeness going all the way around. But Asa, you are fake to me. And I like Gigi. 
I don't agree with everything she does. Yes, she is a handful. Yes, she's a bitch. But at least she owns it. She claims it. She does. She doesn't claim to be something she's not. And I and I, I respect that in a woman. I feel like me and her could be friends. Yes, she called Asa fat. I'm fat too. But she didn't say it to me. Shit. Asa was talking shit. She talked shit back. It is what it is. Gigi, to me, in my opinion, is just real. And she's not here. And I, and I hate that she tried to humble herself and try to get everybody's friendship back and went to Reza because he's supposed to be the mediator of friendship. But, bitch, we already got your, your car, motherfucker. Go on somewhere. Go on somewhere and play the fucking Sandman or whatever the fuck you do. Um, but Gigi, to me, she's just real. And I feel like... Starting off this season, Asa was very rude to that dude on me. I don't care how drunk or how belligerent he was acting. The, he wasn't coming for you. He wasn't coming for nobody until you disrespected him with those fucking comments. Okay? And you was doing it low-key and trying to play it off like it was a joke. And then when your ass got read for Phil, then you're like, Oh my God, I don't understand why people are so disrespectful. I don't understand why people are so disrespectful to me. Bitch, get off of my... I just wanted Gigi to slug your ass. Yes, she's small. Yes, she's small, and you, you were able to push her, but I feel like Gigi can get like a hundred taps on that motherfucking head and that ugly ass face of yours. You do like a fucking transvestite, in my opinion. I don't like Asa, y'all. I really don't care for Asa. I don't. I just don't like people who act like they don't do anything wrong, and you're the main one doing all this shit and stirring shit. You're the main one talking shit. How dare you look at Gigi? And say, you're fake. Your, your fakeness is so ugly because you had so much work done. You had this done. You had that done. You're so fake. You're so ugly. And you're sitting right beside the fakest bitch on the stage, body-wise, Lily. You're sitting right beside her. That bitch is 90% plastic. And you, you done told her many times in this motherfucking uh, show that, oh, you're beautiful. And I don't agree with that either. I don't agree with the fact that just because Asa was falling out with Gigi, that everybody had to uninvite Gigi somewhere. I feel like that's not being an adult. Yeah, Gigi acted out a lot of times, but Gigi was prompted to act out. She was very prompted to act out. And, and, and people try to cut that out, but I see that. They, 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 it's like when you poke a pit bull enough, he's going to bite you. And that's Gigi to me. If you keep poking her ass, she's going to sting. That's what's going to happen. Okay? And they try to play up the fact that, oh, she grabbed a knife. And, oh, she's just crazy. Oh, my God, I can't believe you grabbed that knife. And Andy told him, why, why were you grabbing that knife? I've been at dinners or gatherings where friends do shit like that. It's nothing. They knew it was nothing. It wasn't even that serious. If you really felt that she was that unstable or that mentally unstable, you wouldn't even invite her ass. You wouldn't even been around her. And she wouldn't even be on the show. Get the fuck out of here with that. Y'all need to stop playing Gonessa like that. Really, y'all need to. Y'all really fucking need to. And um, just that whole kid in the sandbox mentality just really gets on my nerves. I just don't agree with everybody un uninviting Gigi places just because Reza and Asa don't care for her at the moment. So Reza and Asa run everybody now because they don't like people that all of a sudden you can't, they can't come, they can't be around, they can't be in the group. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here with that. I'm pretty much done with this review. Really. Um, back to Asa real quick, bitch. You are fake. <laughs> Me and my homegirl was laughing our ass off about this because this bitch was, she had that diamond water, right? And when that bit, that episode where that bitch was sitting there zoning the energy for the diamond, she was like, oh, I feel the energy from this one. This is the diamond. This is the one. And when homeboy read how that motherfucking bill, when he said, oh, that costs this much, she was like, oh, oh, no, the, en oh, the energy's a miss. Oh, I feel this one, honey. Oh, yes, this one. Oh, yes. And she ended up picking the one that's more in budget. I said, you are so fake. Get that whole motherfucking uh, Miss Cleo fake bullshit out of here. Anyway, y'all, this is Big Zo 20. Peace.